You know, it's October, and, and we horror fans, we like to watch, you know, the, the hard, rated R, blood and guts, horror type stuff, evil stuff. But uh, sometimes it's fun to watch just like a light family, spooky movie like Monster House, stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to review a movie called Under Wraps, which uh, is getting a remake here uh, this week, actually. So I'm going to be covering this with my friend Rachel from Rachel's Reviews. So anyway, let's do it. Under Rab stars Adam Wiley, Mario Yadidia, and is directed by Greg Beeman. What's up, guys? It's October, and why not review some, some family fare? Um, my friend Rachel from Rachel's Reviews, uh, she asked me if you wanted to cover these movies uh, called Under Wraps. I love what Rachel does. She covers a lot of like Disney content, family-oriented content, and me personally, I like that stuff because I got two kids who are grown now, but growing up, we used to watch a lot of this stuff, like Goosebumps and you know, Monster House. I mean, we used to watch Monster House like every year. And I'd never even heard of Under Wraps. So I'm glad she asked me to cover this. So after I get done with this review, uh, be sure to go over and check out her review. We're also going to be covering the, the newer movie that's coming out this week too, actually. Uh, I think next week we're going to do that one. But yeah, this was kind of a treat. First off, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. You got these preteens led by Gilbert and Marshall. And uh, they stumble upon this 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy. Uh, in this this kind of like abandoned basement. One of them's like hanging upside down and uh, he sees the uh, sarcophagus for the, the mummy and they accidentally set him free. And so he gets out and he's trying to find his long lost love. And so that's kind of the, the goal of the movie is to, to reunite them before midnight on Halloween so he can return. And this is stuff that really just kind of captures the imagination. We all love those Egyptian mummy type stories. The Mummy with Brendan Fraser is probably one of my favorite movies from like the late 90s. You know, it's just such a fun, wild ride of a movie. But the character of The Mummy, you can really play around with it and do all different kinds of things with it. You know, I've wanted them to do like a really evil, sinister mummy movie for years. Whereas I think The Mummy from 99 kind of captures the best of both worlds. There's some creepy stuff in that movie, but it's also really fun. Has like an Indiana Jones vibe to it. Well, this particular movie, Under Wraps, is more akin to like the Monster Squad or, or the Goonies. And I love these types of movies where you got these young kids and it's just the reactions of these kids. That's what makes it so fun. Once they come upon the mummy, they're like screaming their heads off and it's believable. But that is one aspect where they kind of go a little bit too far with it. And you're like, okay, I get the point. In real life, of course, they're going to be screaming their heads off for ages. But for the sake of entertainment in a movie, just kind of check that box and let's move on. You know, I, That's one problem that Rob Zombie had with his Halloween remake. At the end of the movie, what do we do with the damsel in distress? Let's make her scream for like the next 20 minutes. And I thought that's what they were going to do with this one. But luckily, they, they tempered it down. Quite a bit. I can't believe I just com uh, compared a Rob Zombie movie to Under Wraps, but it happened. Now, really, the star of this movie is, is the mummy itself. Veteran TV actor Bill Fagerbach actually played the mummy, and I think he does a really good job. He he gets really zany and you know wild and lively with the character, uh, but I I still think he's very memorable. So memorable that I would even say that uh, you know movies like Psycho Goreman, which just came out like this year. There's a scene in that movie that is very similar to this movie where you got the, the kids, they get the mummy dressed up in this like, almost like pimp-like suit, like pimp daddy suit. And it, this whole scene is very similar to what they would eventually later do in Psycho Gore Man. So I can see a little bit of influence in this movie actually, but I just like the tone of this movie, uh, how it's just very playful. It knows what it is. You're going to make fun of it throughout, but that's, that's okay because it's not really taking itself too seriously. Plus, this is like a, a kid's movie. You know, this was one of the first, if not the first, uh, TV movies for the Disney Channel. Under wraps. The spirit of the mummy may be freed by the purity of the full moon and loosened to walk the earth. And he's walking your way on Disney. What are we going to call him? How about Harold? And it's up to these three kids to help him find his way back home. Yeah. We don't have much time, right, Harold? Under wraps, tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Disney Channel. 
And I'd never even heard of it, so I don't even know if this movie has like garnered like a cult following or anything like that. From watching it, I would wager that it probably has. Uh, although I think it does borrow heavily from the Monster Squad, which came out a few years before. I think like a decade before, actually. And, I, you know, if I compare this to a movie like the Monster Squad, it's almost not fair because that movie seems to have a much bigger budget, is much more entertaining. And, uh, you know, the rewatchability value of that movie, I think, far outweighs this movie. You know, I think that's one that transcends audiences where, you know, you could have kids watching The Monster Squad. You could have people like me, you know, grown men that still love it. Whereas this movie right here, of course, I could pick it apart because it's more of like a kid's movie. And there were times when I was thinking of my, like my granddaughter, Delilah, and I was just like, my granddaughter would love this. You know, when she gets to that age, because right now she's still a little baby, but once she gets to like toddler age, I would probably plop her in front of this movie and she'd probably have a great time with it. You know, she'd probably get a kick out of the, the mummy in the movie because you can tell that that's kind of what he's geared towards, children. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. And sure, it's dated. It definitely feels like a 90s TV movie. You know, the, the, those Nickelodeon, Disney Channel TV movies that were so popular in the 90s, they all had like a certain flair to them. And this definitely fits right into that mold. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely give it like a, a humdrum, just a straight up humdrum, uh, just because the, the budget seems like it's pretty low. But again, it's a TV movie, you know, and TV movies back then uh, were, were far separated from cinematic fare. Whereas TV, TV movies today, they look like movies, you know, with Netflix and Hulu and, and uh, Amazon. TV looks like movies now. It looks more cinematic. Whereas back then, not so much. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's my review for Under Wraps. Definitely check out Rachel's review. I will have a card for her review somewhere in this video so you can check it out and uh, you can get her opinion on the movie too because I don't know her opinion on the movie yet, okay? And look for our review of the, the new movie next week. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow my drum drums on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and drum drum out.